Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I got this effect on my trinket trays. I actually did this on some keychains um, from my Shaker Charms tutorial and you guys kept asking me how I did this. And I believe it's called Fluid Art, but I'm just doing it with resin. And I got this idea from Seven Sorrows Shop on Instagram. Before getting into the rest of this video, I just want to make sure you guys are following proper epoxy resin safety. Um, Please make sure that you're wearing nitro gloves and that you are in a well-ventilated room, preferably a garage or a porch because the air filters better in those areas. And wearing a full respiratory mask. The mask that I'm showing is not a full respiratory, but the one that I'm about to show is the proper one that I think everyone should have. So there are two methods that I like to use to get the fluid art effect, and I'm going to be showing you guys this first way and I'm going to be using Art & Glow resin throughout this whole video and this video is actually sponsored by Art & Glow for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm just so thankful for them for um, you know sub um, sponsoring this giveaway for you guys so you get to see all the goodies that the winner will receive but here I'm just showing you guys um, me mixing my resin together and just pouring each part into the cup and yeah So after mixing my resin, I like to let it sit for about 5 minutes before I pour them into these cups. And these are number 5 cups and I really like using these because they are reusable. So every time um, I pour resin into them and the next day they're fully cured, I can just like crinkle the cup and pop them all out. And you know, I don't have to waste them and throw them away. Only sometimes I have to if it gets too much buildup, but yeah so i'm just pouring um, my resin into the cups and i'm for this part i'm just like um, measuring them about 25 milliliters per each cup it really depends on how you want the effect to look like if you want more of one color to be showing you would pour more resin for that color but for me i wanted them to all be even and kind of like mix a little bit more for um the kitty cat trinket tray and for the charms so that's why i'm just doing um equal parts for each of the cups So now I'm going to get into coloring my resin. So I'm going to use some alcohol inks for two of the cups and the other cup I'm going to use white pigment. And then one of them I'm going to leave clear because I like to use the clear to um, separate when I pour each color into each other. And you kind of will, you'll be able to see how it looks like when I'm actually pouring them into the one cup later on. But yeah, um, I'm just mixing it up and I'm going to add some like glittery pigments to it just to make it really nice and sparkly. I really love adding glittery pigments to my um, resin. It just makes everything look so pretty. And once I'm done finished mixing all my cups of resin, I'm going to allow them to sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, because I want to make sure that the resin is a little bit thicker then if I just go ahead and pour them into the one big cup to do the whole effect because I noticed that um, when the resin is a little bit too runny um, it will mix way too fast like the colors will all become one color so that's why I like to wait until it's a little bit thicker and then you can kind of see more of the different colors peeking through. Thank you. 
I decided to add some confetti glitter to the clear resin just to give it a little bit of a cool effect. It was a last minute decision and I feel like I should have added a little bit more so I can really see the effect. But because um, there was only a few of them that really peeked through in the finished result. So that's the only thing I would change if I were to do this again with the um, confetti glitter. But now in this next clip, I'm going to show you um, how I pour um, each color into the cup. So you can see I'm pouring the white in first and then I'm pouring the pink and I like to push it to the side, like pour it from the side kind of. Um, and then I pour the clear and then I'm pouring the blue and I'm just stacking the colors into each other basically. And then you see I'm pouring the clear again. I'm trying to separate some of the colors. Sometimes I don't use the clear just because I don't really want um, that section to be separated because I want some of the areas to kind of like mix in together but yeah I'm just going to just do this whole process until I'm all the way up to the top and I'm finished pouring all the cups So now I'm going to start pouring my resin in a swirling motion. This is just one of the three ways that I like to um, uh, pour the resin. And this is the first one is just a swirling uh, movement with my hand. And you guys will see the difference between all of the different movements that I like to do and how the effect varies with how it turns out. But yeah, this is just the first one. And now with the charms, I'm doing more of a zigzag motion and you can kind of see it does more of a gradient effect. It went from more of like the blue to the purple to the um, white on the um, magical crystal ball. And then in the um, heart key, it went from like a pink, blue, purple to the white. And now I'm going to be doing my third movement that I like to do with my first method. And um, you're just going to see me stacking the colors for this one. And I wanted the white to mostly show um, through for this um, movement. So that's why you're going to see I do all these other colors first. And then I do the white and I just pour all the white all the way to the top. Because I mainly wanted the white to show. And now I'm going to start pouring the resin and I pour it from the side this time instead of from the beak. And you can see I'm doing a really pushing like thrusting kind of motion um, with this so that the colors can come out and kind of like mix into each other and get this cool effect. And you can really see how each of the methods have a different result for them. And I would really recommend this method um, for resin coasters because the other side did come out pretty for this tray, but I feel like this would look so good with like resin coasters. So the next time I try it, I'm definitely going to do it with a resin coaster um, mold.
So after waiting 24 hours, this is how all the trays came out as well as the charms. And I think they came out so beautiful and you can really see the detail. And the kitty cat one really does look like a little kitty cat to me. It's so cute. And um, these are the charms and then the heart trinket tray. And you're going to see like you can really see mostly um, the white in the heart tray. And you can see the other colors like it's kind of subtle with those which I do like the effect of that. But like I said before I would so want to try this with a resin coaster mold So my second method I don't think would be really classified as fluid art but I did want to include it in this video anyways because it is another option to get a somewhat similar effect to the first method. It is just um, a little bit different and you can see I started off with five cups of resin and then I put two of them to the side which I'm going to leave clear and those two cups have majority of the resin that I mixed and these three I'm going to use to add color to and I'm just using mica pigments and the reason why I did that is because I'm going to be using the clear resin to mix the other three colors into each other you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about once we get to those clips but yeah. So now I'm going to pour some clear resin into the mold first before I start getting into my colors and I'm just going to start adding um, my colors in randomly. I'm just going to start with the purple then the um, greenish blue color and the white and I'm just going to start adding it everywhere and then um, I'm going to take my clear cup of resin and I'm going to just start pouring it and you can see the clear resin just starts to make the colors like either move away from each other or in some areas it mixes but you don't really see the colors mix too too much into each other where it becomes muddy which is why I really like using this method and I also do recommend this method as well for resin coasters because it looks so beautiful on both sides but I really liked um, this side that I'm working on which would look better on um, resin coasters I feel like and you can see I'm just going in with the colors and I'm just gonna keep pouring them and then adding more clear to really move the colors around And after waiting 24 hours, this is how the trinket tray came out. And I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And now on to the giveaway. I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for getting me to over 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 14,000 now. I never thought I would ever get to this amount. So I just want to thank you guys so much. So that is why I'm doing this giveaway. So one winner will win all of these prizes that I'll be showing. As well, there's some of the stuff that I didn't get to show in this video. But I will be mentioning all the prizes. But I want to give a big thanks to Art & Glow for sponsoring this giveaway. They sent some of their glow powders and their micas. As well as a UV flashlight and a flashlight to charge up the glow powders. And they also sent um, a 32 ounce kit of resin in the video. The rest of the clips, um, it'll show it in a box, but I'm showing you as well the resin that I use, my Art & Glow 32 ounce kit, so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. And um, for my portion of this um, giveaway, I'm giving the winner um, two of my molds. You get to pick two molds under $35 each um, from my website and you're going to get a jar of glitter and you get to pick six packs of the beads that I offer. You can pick the 
the packs I already have pre-mixed or if you just want separate colors I can do that as well and I'm also giving I'm um, putting in some UV resin you'll also get some transparency film you'll get an applicator tip bottle um, I'm also going to be giving away um, a hand drill um, keychain hardware to uh, attach the keychain everything that you would need majority of everything that you would need to make your first uh, few keychains will be added into this giveaway box and the rules are that you must be subscribed to Art and Glow's um, YouTube channel you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel and are following me on Instagram and the third rule is to comment down below um, subscribed and then also add your Instagram handle and if you do not have an Instagram you can um, add your email so that I can contact you and the giveaway will run for two weeks i think up until um february 14th um at 11 59 p.m est so good luck to everyone and i'll make sure to leave all the rules pinned to the top in the comment section so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye now